Bracket silence bracket. And our friend Juno. The hateful fangs of the Saru took their lives from them. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Ligaya Part 6. <laughs> we seem to be at a funeral right now. For Juno and the others who died from the mist. To Ferti, god of the sea, we entrust their bodies. Why am I giving this voice to that old man? I don't know. But Rem, our leader, our great leader, on your sacred wings, take the noble souls of our friends to the Valley of Noaru. May their souls find peace and eternal happiness in the distant Valley of Noaru. There, I gave him his voice back. Time to push it into the sea. You know what? I didn't even take any bites of my dinner. I hope they do. Well, dude, it is important. They need to know I'm eating my dinner. So, one thing I don't understand. They push the coffins as soon as it starts moving away from them. What's that going to do? That just makes it take longer to get it into the water. You're wasting everybody's precious time. Then again, I guess it's a funeral. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, 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 gotta wait. Okay, now do it. Woo. They gotta make sure it catches the waves, I guess. Surf's up, I mean. <laughs> yeah, surf's up, man. <laughs> Juno and the other people. Dude, not that Juno. Aw, oh, May's crying again. Two very unrelated people that I have no idea who they are, really. This actually did not hit me as barred as the other part. Yeah. You know, it's never good to be hit barred. It hurts a lot. I just kind of stopped reading the text there for a second. I guess because I don't want to speak as a woman and a child, so... Yeah, you guys can read that part. I'll start reading again soon. <sighs> Sorry guys, we yawned. But that... 6.30, man. Dude, you woke up at 2.30. You wouldn't be tired at all. I woke up like five hours before you did. A Genesis tree and a Rosaru. We had some pretty important things here in Remelm. Vaughn, Remelm is saved thanks to you. You are truly courageous and I thank you again. However, it's about our precious May. Her mother may s Ha! Her mother may still be alive inside the mist because her name's May. Uh, I know it's hilarious, that's why I said it. If you have pity of May, then rescue her mother. I have all of the pity. P. Diddy. If you say yes... I don't know. I'll s tell you the rest of the story. Will you do it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Now, even May doesn't know this, but... May's mother, Maya, used to work at Byron Monastery ten years ago. The mist came. And naturally, we lost all contact with her. As for whether Byron Monastery itself still survives in the mist, unfortunately no one knows. But Maya's May's only surviving blood relative. Vaughn, with the raw... Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Vaughn, with the raw Saru, I'm sure you can make it to Byron Monastery. Vaughn, I'm counting on you. One more thing, Vaughn. Keep this a secret from May. Did I change your name like five times already? From May to Mai, or have I been sticking with May? God damn it. I always do that. She will only be heartbroken if Byron Monastery has indeed been lost to the mist. Wow, she's not heartbroken enough already? Come on. Anyways. We did that. We got through the night. 
Uh, we'll, we're just gonna save on the title, cause uh, Vaughn, wait, Vaughn. Oh, she's dying. Phew. Oh, I'm glad I made it. Here, I brought you the hunting clothes I promised you. Yeah, Vaughn now has hunter clothes. And this is a gift for you. To thank you for rushing to check up on me yesterday. She gave me May's pendant. Hey, Vaughn, what's the matter? Are you alright now? I could have said mind your own business, but I'm not a douche, so I'm not going to do that. Yes, I had a good cry. That's good. And making your hunting clothes took my mind off everything. Vaughn, I heard from the village elder that you're going on a long trip. Did I say village? Well, that's pretty fun. Well, take care, and don't forget to wear the hunting outfit I made you. I'll put it on right away. And be sure to come back when you finish whatever it is you have to do. I mean it. You better come back. No, I'm going to leave forever. I've never been good at saying goodbyes. So I have to go home now. I'm sorry. I'll be waiting for you to come back, Vaughn. I don't know. I can't do a girl voice. That's why she sounds like an old lady. I guess. Now that I exited, we get to see the map of the outside. But before we leave, we're going back in to grab something quickly. From the shopkeepers. You need to exit the town at least once before you can get this. First of all, we can buy things from this. Welcome, what would you like? Um, I don't know why that little kid has such a manly voice. You know what? We don't need this. But we will get these. Huh? Hold on. Alright, so I got that. Can't afford the warrior boots right now, but let's, uh... I'm not gonna sell those. Let's sell my magic leaf. I'm not gonna need that for a while. Give myself the warrior boots, equip them, and... Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. And then quickly run up here. Run in here. And in here, the point card. This is a very important item. It can help a lot in the game. So yeah, we're almost done with this episode. As soon as I step out into the world map, I'm going to save it and end it there. So this has been part six, I believe, of Let's Play Legend of Ligaya. And I will see you guys next time. After I save, at least, because I still got to uh, save before I leave. You know, would be rude not to save and just close it out and lose all of my information that I have already. Haven't saved since the beginning of 15, so that's it for now, guys. I will see you guys next time.